The sports supplement and weight loss industry is large. If you're a consumer or an athlete and you go into a store, there are shelves of these types of products. That's lost water. Yeah. My collaborators and I follow blogs and forums that talk about new and upcoming supplements and ingredients. We had run across an ingredient called 2-amino isoheptane. It's been mentioned especially for pre-workout and weight loss products. It picked our interest because we examined the chemical structure of it and found it was very similar to DMAA, which has already been pulled from the shelves and banned as an ingredient by the FDA. It's never been tested in humans and it's being put in dietary supplements. We found six products that contain this ingredient. We purchased them and tested them and we had some very intriguing results out of the testing. We found four potentially harmful compounds. All these are chemical cousins to ephedrine. Now why that's important is ephedrine was banned by the FDA and it had been implicated in a number of deaths. Ephedrine raises your heart rate and it raises your blood pressure. Now those two things combined with dehydration, exercise, caffeine consumption could put people at risk for cardiac events. Not all sports supplements are bad. The vast majority are great supplements. We're looking out for the safety of consumers and athletes. A study like this is important because it can show you that there can be illegal or unwanted contaminants that could be harmful to a consumer in sports supplements and weight loss products.